Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. <clears throat> In this episode, I'd like to show you a new way of uh, uh, adding uh, knowledge to a uh, Copilot uh, Studio Builder uh, that we can create directly from uh, the new uh, M365 Copilot. So as you can see, this is the new uh, look where we have the search, the chat, and agents. And we will click on create an agent. Here, actually, if we go to the configure, we can actually, as we did before, uh, go to the knowledge after, of course, that we added the name, the description, and the instructions. Now, here we have a couple of possibilities. As you can see here, it says, uh, you can get uh, sources from URLs that you enter, upload files, Microsoft SharePoint, Teams, and Outlook and emails. There's also a reference. We You can look at it uh, later. So what we can do first is if we click here, we see now, and it's new, that we can choose uh, based on uh, files, specific files, uh, we can filter by Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, and as you can see here, you can filter by site. If I write IT, then it will uh, limit the result that I want according to the sites that I I am I have access, or I am the owner. And as you can see here, also chats, you can limit it or filter by channels, meetings, and group chats. So, um, assuming I want just one file, I can choose it, and actually it will add it. We will have this preparing. Once it's done, we can then use it. Um, but let's see what else can we do. So, if I click here, if I scroll here, now I have additional possibilities. So, uh, before I could also enter some URL, maybe in the internet that I wanted, I would do enter and uh, it would actually uh, add the URL as you can see here. But um, sometimes maybe you want to open it to everything or maybe you want to limit it. So as we saw here, if I scroll down, I now can say I want all the web, I can choose all of my SharePoint files, folders, and sites. So now uh, anywhere that I have access, it will be a knowledge base and a source. And as you can see here, I can also um, choose my teams, chat and groups, channels and meetings. If I click here on this uh, information, it includes meeting chats, channels, and group. So uh, these functionalities are new, actually. Before, you could only search maybe only in a SharePoint site, uh, library, or maybe a folder. And uh, if you want to limit it only to your emails, then you can choose this, and this will be the, the source uh, that the, the agent will actually have access to, to go. So um, one la last thing is, just like we look for single files or sites, we can also uh, click here on this um, cloud, attach cloud files. And this is a, a way to, to choose the site maybe that we want to choose the library. If it's not here, you can choose another library. Maybe we want a folder, or we can pick specific files that we want. And now we have it here. So we either go through this um, way where we know the, the site and the structure, or we can go directly either to the site or to the files. Uh, so there's many ways to get to what we want, 
and this is actually um, the new functionality. Um, I just want to show you actually, if we're in the Copilot Studio, there's now a possibility in addition to Teams and Microsoft Copilot to publish it to the SharePoint. If I go uh, actually here under the channels that we have, then you can see I can choose um, which site I want to publish it. And now if I deploy it, it will be directly appearing in this uh, SharePoint site that I chose. Uh, you can see it here. Um, actually, what happens is uh, it first goes, it adds the file in the document library. If you open it, you can approve it. If the site owner approves, it will go to the approves. So uh, this is a short overview. Hopefully you enjoyed and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.